I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Slim Savage, Slim Lincoln, Slim Nick Infinity Don't need you to confirm what I'm finna be I can wind it down with my enemies I can show the blind what I get to see I can teach the why something interesting Change the paralysis, not feeling me I can close the fine identity Yeah, what up, you you already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of the subscribers out there. That notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. I hope everybody's doing good in their lives with everything that's going on right now. This is just a blog to talk about a couple things. It's not really like all battle rappy. I know if you want um, me and Showtime and our element and our character in this one, you know what I mean? Just uh, you can cut this one off. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna just talk to y'all about a couple things real quick. Um, Having a platform, you know what I'm saying, a viable platform with this many subscribers, this many views, I feel like sometimes you have to talk about what's going on in the world and in society, you know what I mean? Um, I, like I said, I know a lot of y'all are used to just the battle rap, and that's where we you normally try to keep it, put it in rice and get your mans and all of that, but um, I think the same platform that we use to highlight if a battler gets in trouble or arrested or whatever the case may be, we should use to highlight when they do something that's good. And um, there's two battle rappers right now who have been doing some phenomenal things in the community. Uh, Sue Surf being one and Oops. We already know how Oops gives it up. Uh, Oops is actually in Minnesota right now with everything that's going on. He um, took his talents to Minnesota. He dropped a live stream earlier where he was talking about a lot of things. I'm going to post it at the end because you know oops he ain't sure when he can he he go he that's my that's my boy but he he go but i watched it and he made a lot of sense in a lot of the things that he was talking about as far as how people are reacting you know people that aren't of african-american descent are reacting to what's going on about the looting and the protesting and the rallying and the rioting going on in a lot of different states because at this point i'm be honest People are just tired of what's been happening for years and years and years with the Walter Scotts, the George Floyds, the Philando Castiles, the Tamir Rices, the Breonna Taylors, the Tatiana Jeffersons, the Amadou Diallo, Sean Bell. Uh, it goes on and on and on. I can sit here and name names all day. Um, Sue Surf put together a silent protest where, you know, these guys walked for a couple hours through New Jersey. Uh, didn't break nothing, so you know, that was one of the things that they were focused on, not breaking up things in their own community. <laughs> surf giving back to the hood, look at Surf. What Surf got going on out here? Yeah. When it's time to walk, we gonna walk, you heard? And we ain't breaking shit, this ours. I'm gonna send this to you, son. It's just going down name after name. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Much love. Outside. Outside. In case y'all thought I just rapped and bought the gang members outside, I don't. I bring my whole state out here. Yeah. My shit. When it's time to walk, we gonna walk, you heard? And we ain't breaking shit, this ours. They didn't want to set things on fire and do things like that, but they definitely wanted to bring awareness to what was going on, you know what I mean? And like I said, I have um, 
I have a lot of respect for what these guys got going on. I actually ran today. Uh, we did 10 miles. 10 miles. Yes, 10 miles for uh, 10 unarmed blacks that were killed by police. Um, that was a lot. I ain't going to hold you. I've never actually ran 10 miles before, but um, we ran 10 miles today. Um, and, you know, it's just about spreading awareness at this point because, you know, you have somebody with a platform like Sue Surf's to actually go out in the community, get people together, to walk around, and to just basically, you know, have their voices heard. You know, everybody doesn't have to, you know, be fighting with the cops because at this point, honestly, um, there are some states and some places where they be waiting for it. They're waiting to make another example out of somebody. But the systematic oppression has been going on for years. The profiling has been going on for years. So you have a lot of people who basically are judging what's going on, but they don't really, they don't know what people go through on a daily basis, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to use my platform to start a race war, but at the same time, I think it's a lot about awareness. Like, people should be aware of what's going on, how things are going down. And um, honestly, when you see things like George Floyd, the video is very graphic, you know what I'm saying? And then they're bringing out more video where it looks like he was getting... It looks like, to me, from my perspective, it looks like he was getting beat up in the police car. And it's just it's just a lot, you know what I mean? And I definitely want everybody out here to be safe, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the one thing I will say. Regardless of what goes on and what you choose to partake in, whether it's meeting at a protest or meeting at a rally or just outside, just to be safe, you know what I mean? Because uh, you only get one life to live. But uh, other than that, salute to every single one of y'all. Salute to Sue Surf once again. And oops, y'all check out oops live stream. Y'all let me know what y'all think, you know what I mean? And um, I'm gone. Those who we consider allies, even those those who consider themselves liberal, progressive, whatever else you want to identify it as. Take a look in the mirror and see how you identify how you um how you benefit from this shit. Because no matter how much you 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 march with us, no matter how much you you Stand back to back, face to face with us. As matter, no matter how much you support, when we walk away from that protest and you go left and I go right, our lives are still vastly different. And you have to recognize that. Don't keep coming and talking to me about what black folks are doing when they upset. If black folks is upset with black folks because of what's going on. That's a conversation black folks need to have with black folks. Period. If they upset, cool. Let us have that conversation. Let us talk to each other. Let us figure it out. But y'all don't have the right to come in and say, oh, what y'all doing taking away from his... What the hell did you do to add to his legacy? What the hell did you do every day to add to the fact that black folks are dying at the hands of the very system chosen to protect us it ain't about it ain't about what you feel personally take a step back take a step back in your whiteness and understand that you benefit from a system that's been put in place to benefit y'all not us we surviving in a system that wasn't built for us we are operating in a system that wasn't built for us. I did not fucking run for office because I believe in the system. I didn't run for office because because I believe in that. I, I ran for office because I didn't trust it. I ran for office because I didn't trust what was going on with my people. I ran for office because I didn't trust what was going on for poor people. I, I ran for office because I, I, I didn't trust what was going on when it came to these laws, procedures, and policies. And no, I didn't know much about it, but the whole aspect was, you know what? I'm going to go in here as me from where I'm from with all of my lived experience that I've had to go through. And then I'm going to try to make a change from within the inside, the procedures from the inside, no matter who come at me, no matter who downplays me, no matter who try to get me the fuck out of here, whether it's physically or mentally, none of that meant nothing to me. And it still don't. White people, take a step back, man. Look in the mirror. Understand how y'all have benefited from this system. Then fight accordingly.
Then come to us and fight with us accordingly. But until you understand that, you can't effectively fight with us. Because you can't come out here to a protest, march, have whatever it is you have to say out here, chant with us and everything else. Then take your ass home and make a Facebook stat or a Twitter stat talking about how this shouldn't have happened at a protest for black lives. How if this happens, then you taken away from the legacy. Get the fuck out of here. If, if you do this, then that takes away from, from, from the very reason that y'all out here. You don't even know why the fuck we out here. It ain't just about George. Absolutely it's about George. Man, his life mattered. It's about George. It's about... It's about George. It's about Brianna. It's about Mike Brown. It's about Sean Reed. It's... Y'all need to check y'all self. White folks who are out here talking about and condemning what's going on out there, check yourself, dog. Straight up. Because while you are supporting these oppressive-ass fucking systems, we still dying. When that sports game you was watching, that, that quarterback threw that Gatorade, that Gatorade canister across the, across the field, when Larry Bird kicked the kicked the Gatorade canteen down. When the baseball players break their baseball bats in half. That's passion. That's passion to y'all. Come on, man. Use your white power. Use your white privilege as a superpower, man. That's what you do. Use it as a use it as a superpower. Use it to go ahead and say, you know what? If Black Lives Matter, show me, man. Don't keep hashtagging it. If Black Lives Matter, show me, man. That's the best way. You, that's the best way I can understand. Show me that Black Lives Matter. Show me that Black Lives Matter. Show me that Black Lives Matter. Don't keep telling me. Don't keep texting me. Don't keep. Don't keep. Don't keep. Fucking. Posting these long keyboard warrior ass posts. Show me. Show me. Because let me tell you something. It, it's funny how we always get the rebuttal that all lives matter when they say black lives matter. But black folks show y'all every day that all lives matter. Black folks show y'all every single day. We are the most forgiving fucking people in the world. In the world. We are the most forgiving people in the world. We still operate as Democrats. We still operate as a political party. That right there shows you that we are the most forgiving people in the world. We show y'all every fucking day that all lives matter. We show y'all that. We show y'all that. It's crazy how y'all how 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 we can get folks who 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 say all lives matter, but don't show that all lives matter. Huh? How you say all lives matter, but don't show that all lives matter? Everybody want to talk peace when the shit hit the fan, but before the shit hit the fan, every fucking body is justifying what these cops and what the system is doing. Everybody's justifying, we got white folks justifying these oppressive ass policies and procedures put in place and making excuses for them. I saw it on the House floor. I saw it as I debated bills, as, as my colleagues debated bills on the House floor. We saw it every day. But until shit hit the fan, now y'all like, now things are getting wild. Now things are getting crazy. Why? Because people are upset. 
Y'all getting mad. Y'all, y'all condemning protests. Y'all condemning the heightened anger in these protests. But won't condemn these policies each and every day. I don't want to. Just like I don't want to see politicians that just pop up on election day in election cycles. I don't want to see white allies pop up just when it's a police involved death. What you doing in between time to fight against these same oppressive systems? What are we doing to stop the next one? What are we doing to try to stop the next one? I love seeing thousands of people protest across the entire fucking world. I love seeing it. We should stand and protest. But when we leave, what are we doing in between time? What are we going to do so that the next black woman, the next black man, the next black kid ain't killed? We, nah, nobody gets to define what we do out there, man. Yes, we can talk about being more organized. Yes, we can talk about all these different things. That's cool. Yes, we should. But on the same hand, like, the reason why a lot of this shit has been affected because it ain't as organized. Because there are protests over here, protests over there. They don't know what to do. They don't know who the leaders are. They don't know who the organizers are. They don't, and it baffles them. That's when they get us, when they can identify who the leader is, who the one person that's leading this. What's the one organization that's leading this? What's the one organization? What's the one person that's leading this? Then they get there and say, Oh, okay. Well, this is who we can target. This is who we can take out. This is who we can... That shit real. Do I agree with people being violent? I I agree with people being the people who they are. I I agree with people expressing themselves the way they need to express themselves. That's what I agree with. I agree with, with, with people expressing their anger in the way that they need to express their anger. Do I agree with black businesses burned down? No, I don't. Do I agree... With things happening to places like Kathy Kitchen that that has most definitely had our back and stood with us and stood for us, I do, man, I absolutely do not, and I stand with Kathy's Kitchen and whatever anybody's doing and whatever they're doing to raise money, I'm totally down. Now, with that being said, no buts, because a but would negate what I said beforehand. That's another thing that white folks need to learn when y'all say I stand with Black Lives, I stand for Black Lives, I'm a Black ally, but. After that butt, we ain't trying to hear none of that shit. I'll say to add on to what needs to happen is folks need to take a step back and understand that people get upset, dog. People get upset for regular shit every single day. People get upset every single day. For different shit. My son got upset the other day and threw the threw the controller because he lost that Fortnite and he was visibly upset. And I had to check myself because I told him, "Man, don't throw the joystick, man. You can't get that mad. It's just a game." But then I realized now he's passionate about that game. He's passionate about winning at that game. Let me redirect. Let me try to help him redirect it. Let me not tell him to don't be mad. Let me tell him that to not don't don't be frustrated. Let me let me not meet aggression with aggression. If you got people burning shit up, you think you're gonna come to them talking crazy to them, and you think that's what's gonna get them to stop? Every person that I've ever seen, every person that I've ever seen, destroy or destruct anything. 
the first form of communication was a hug. The first form of communication was a I see you. It was a it was a it was a way to communicate, not condemn, not point at, not grab them up, not none of that. Cause you, it's aggression with aggression. No, I'm not throwing them to the wolves. No, I'm not throwing them to the fucking police. No, I'm not giving y'all their name. No, I'm not videotaping them doing whatever it is they're doing. No, I'm not taking pictures of what they're doing and then trying to make some stat to get some cool points off. I'm not doing none of that shit. Ferguson taught me a lot. The death of Michael Brown, the murder of Michael Brown taught me a lot. Organizing in 2017 around Stockley taught me a lot. You see me talking to people. You see me communicating with my people as to what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, how we should do it. Slim Savage, Slim Lincoln, Slim Lick Infinity Don't need you to confirm what I'm finna be I can wind it down with my enemies I can show the blind what I get to see I can teach the why something interesting Change the paralyzed is not feeling me I can close the fine identity Licks and poems, zippers I wrote Just another nigga different, I know Learned to love my roots as I grow Many want a noose on my throat The last of a dying breed Ready 